The utilities marketplace is a dynamic and competitive environment, so where would you say SAP is positioned within it? SAP is the undisputed leader in providing utility solutions to the utilities marketplace. We've been in this business for over 30 years, focused on developing solutions for utilities. We're the leader with over 575 customers using our billing system worldwide. This has been proven by analyst firms such as Gartner, IDC, Utilipoint, ranking us as number one year after year after year. We're the leader in enterprise asset management systems. Over 1,200 utilities worldwide are using our core ERP solutions to run their core business. And when you add in business analytics, that customer base raises over to 2,200 customers worldwide. And now with the introduction of our AMI integration solution for smart grids, we're seeing that number increase continuously. Well, SAP is a pioneer in the use of smart grids, but what's the focus of the company's research and work in this sector? Well, the smart grid takes on many different definitions to many different parties. So the first thing we need to define is what is a smart grid and how big or how broad is a corporation going to try and attack that marketplace. No one vendor is going to be able to address all the components of a smart grid. SAP has worked with our customers and leading meter providers to create an AMI solution to be able to speak to the smart meter, to be able to have bilateral communication to a meter, control a meter, turn a meter on, turn a meter off, read it, send digital messages. And then the next is to be able to speak to intelligent assets along the grid so we can help the grid to become self-healing. So the focus areas will be on energy efficiency, to be able to conserve energy. The next key facet will be on demand side management, to be able to manage demand and supply. And then finally, to be able to adopt to distribute it renewable type energy sources. So what are the challenges of the smart grid era for the utility companies? Well, utilities are in for a huge challenge. First of all, it's a huge cost for infrastructure, and it needs to be able to roll out and replace an awful lot of these aging assets, whether it's just the meter or actually the whole transmission grid, in a phased type strategy without jeopardizing the current delivery mechanism of energy to their customer base. So it would be a whole change to the way that they work with assets, a big change of operational technology, now speaking with information technology, software talking to and from hardware. And then the second is how they're going to be able to market this, that it's actually going to make a difference in their customer base's usage patterns. Just to put technology in place without marketing to your customers on how to make an improvement will be a house of cards. As we enter a new era of energy provision, do you see technologies and industries evolving to the point where they effectively merge? Uh, absolutely. I think we're starting to see that today. Historically, we used to have very defined barriers between industries. There's retail industries who ran their businesses the way they wanted to. Utility industries, we deliver power, whether it be water, gas, or electricity, and we collect money from our customers. But with the whole smart grid, we're seeing those barriers between industries breaking down, if they even exist at all. Telecommunications is now going to be central and pinnacle to the delivery of information electronically from the meters and from the intelligent assets on the grids. If we take a look at manufacturing corporations, they're creating solar panels, windmills, which are new sources of energy that are creating sources of power to address the new energy revolution. You take a look at banking systems who are investing into these new areas. Public service systems are setting regulatory policies. Automotive manufacturers are creating electric vehicles that are now being storage devices for power and delivering it back onto the grid. So these are all disparate industries that are now working together as conglomerates all around energy. You've touched on the issue of electric vehicles. When do you see them reaching a tipping point in the marketplace? Electric vehicles is a challenge right now because there's, first of all, there's infrastructure changes. If you don't have the infrastructure in place to be able to charge a vehicle up, it's not going to be widely adopted. 
Secondly is the capacity of the battery charge. If you don't have a battery that can hold a charge for much more than two kilometers or three kilometers, how useful will that vehicle be? But as that infrastructure does come into place, I think you'll start seeing the adoption moving fairly quickly. In the U.S. alone, they're predicting by 2015 that there should be half a million electric vehicles on the road. At first, I thought that was a bit aggressive, but the more I think that electric vehicles may be on a rental type property for short-term leases, uh, second vehicles for, for families to be able to do short runs, maybe up to the grocery store, take the kids up to school. I think that may now be a, a relatively conservative number. When we see what's happening in the Nordics, uh, China, and North America, these are going to be uh, very aggressive growth areas. So we see with the data right now, 2014, 2015 may be the wide adoption time period. So looking ahead, what's SAP's strategy in the utilities market? Well, we first focused on taking a look to speak to the meter, to improve billing systems, to be able to bill customers for these various time of use type models, whether it's for water, gas, electricity. But then the next key area is around demand side management, balancing the demand at any current need and production of energy. So that's one focus area. Electric vehicles, as we spoke on, uh, bringing mobility into place. How much is that mobile device going to be able to use the way that we control power and change the way that I use power in our house and be able to consume better? Uh, as we see the market changing, these are the three key pillars today. But if I'm to crystal ball, five years is a long time away, but SAP will be there to be able to deliver the solutions for these customers.